And just wrapping things up here, I want to cover a few of the other special selections besides dot enter using a Venn diagram that Mike Bostock uses in his great blog post, Thinking with Joins. We can think of these circles and their overlap representing the state of things right after our data bind when we're considering what type of special selection to make. The left circle here, shown in blue, represents our data file, in this case, data.tsv, and the red circle here represents our HTML page or SVG elements on that page, index.html. And the intersection between these two represents the HTML elements currently on our page that have already been bound to and associated with a row from our data file in a previous join made with dot data. And knowing what I've mentioned about the dot enter selection, everything in this blue corresponds to all the rows of our data that are not yet present on our web page, which we will then add elements to a web page for each one. The purple can be thought of as the update selection, and while there's not an explicit dot update we need to call, this section simply corresponds to elements already on our page from our prior selection to the data bind, which we might update their data values or their styling implicitly by leaving out a dot enter or dot exit selection.